there has been this discernible shift from, and you know, this is a huge civilizational shift in this country from most people essentially inheriting re their religious identity, like they inherited, you know, their hair color. Mm -hmm. And kind of in our lifetime, you know, in these past few generations, those affiliations have loosened. So you have people growing up without that kind of formation. I think some of the people who are growing up now who, who, you know, didn't go to the same church their parents and grandparents went to actually have this very pure spirit of inquiry uh, because they are asking existential questions. It's a moment in time where existential questions m mm -hmm. feel very present. And they also don't have the baggage their parents had. They're not rejecting anything. So they're kind of coming at the traditions and at spiritual practice um, and at many of the things that, that our traditions have carried forward in time, like, you know, their need for ritual, the, the importance of community, uh, the beauty of text. Mm -hmm. They're coming at all of that very fresh. Um, also asking, to, when they wander near the traditions, asking the traditions to live up to what they say they're about. Mm -hmm. So that's all been kind of on my radar as I've been mm -hmm. doing this. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.